Sina Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahmatullah alayhi. It was his habit, one of the great pious predecessors, the great muhaddith of Islam. It was his habit to do hajj every alternate year. He was going for hajj in the desert, in a distance. He saw a dark figure moving. He went close to the figure and he saw a woman completely covered in black clothes. He he went to her and he said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. She responded from the Quran, Salamun qawlam min rabbi rahim. From the Quran. And he said, What are you doing here all alone? She said again from the Quran, Whoever Allah misguides cannot come to the straight path. Whoever goes astray cannot be guided. From this, I realize she's lost. I asked her, where are you going? What is your destination? She said from the Quran, Subhanalladhi asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al harami ila al masjid al aqsa. From this I realized she has already done, done her hajj. She's going to the third, third haram masjid al aqsa. I asked her, how long you've been over here lost? She again quoted from the Quran, Thalatha layalin sabiyya. From three consecutive nights, continuous nights, I've been staying over here. I took out my food, put it in front of her. She said, then I asked her, what do you eat and drink? I don't see any food with you. She again quoted it from the Quran. He is the one who feeds me and gives me water. Then I put food in front of her. She said, from the Quran. That fast until the nighttime breaks. I told her, you don't have to fast. You're traveling. Allah has made it easy for travelers. She said from the Quran again, But if you fast, it is better if you but knew about it. I was shocked and amazed at the responses of this woman. I asked her, I told her, Why don't you speak to me in the same common language I'm speaking to you, normal language? She again said from the Quran, Ma yalfidu min hawlin illa ladahi rakhibun that he or she does not utter a single word, but the angels are there recording it. Then I asked her, what people are you from? Which tribe are you from? She again quoted from the Quran, Do not ask of the things which you have no knowledge, Verily, your heart, your hearing, your sight will be questioned on the day of judgment. I said, my apologies, I didn't mean to ask you a personal question. She said, La from the Quran, La tasriba alaykum al yaghfir Allahu lakum. No blame upon you, may Allah forgive you. Then I asked her, if you love me, I can help you join the caravan you have lost. She said, again from the Quran, وَمَا تَبْعَلُوا مِنْ خَيْرٍ يَعْلَمْهُ اللَّهُ Whatever you good you do, Allah knows about it. I lowered the camel. As I was lowering the camel, she said from the Quran, Tell the believing men to lower their gaze. I lowered my gaze. I moved my face away from her. As she was about to mount on the camel, she was a stranger to the camel. The camel moved. Her clothes ripped. She again recited from the Quran, That no calamity affliction comes upon you because of your own deeds and actions. She mounted on the camel, reciting the words, the dua from the Quran. Subhanalladhi sakharana hadha wa ma kunna lahu mukhrineen wa inna ila rabbina lamun qalibu. I took the rein of the camel. To keep myself busy, I started shouting and walking. And she said from the Quran again, Waqsid fi mashik waqdud min sawtik. Walk on the earth moderately, modestly, and lower your voice. I lowered my voice and I started reciting poetry to keep myself busy. She again said from, from the Quran, al Quran. Recite from the Quran what Allah has made it easy for you. I stopped the camel, paused, looked at her with my eyes lowered. I said, Allah has blessed you with a lot of good. 
she again said from the Quran, وَمَا يَتَّكَرُوا إِلَّا أُولُوا الْأَلْبَابِ that none receive admonition, nasiha, advice, except the people of understanding. Then I asked her, do you have a husband? She said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, la tus'alu an ashiya in tubda lakum an tasukkum. Oh, you who believe, do not ask the questions which can get into you, get, in, get, get into you, into trouble. I locked up my lips. I said, I better be quiet. I caught up with the camera. I caught up with the caravan. I went to the caravan and I told, told her, do you know anybody in the caravan? She again recited from the Quran, Al-Malu wal banoon Zinatul Hayati Dunya. From this I realized she has children in the caravan. I said, what are they doing in this caravan? For me to identify them. She again quoted from the Quran, Wa'alamad wa bin najbihum yahtadun. Allah talks about the stars, how they guide the people in the deserts. From this I realized her sons are the guides in the caravan. I asked her, what are the names? She again quoted from the Quran. From this I realized her son's names are Isa, Musa, and Ibrahim. I went in front of the caravan and shouted, Ya Musa, Ya Ibrahim, Ya Yahya. Three handsome young men with their faces beautiful like the 14th moon. They come forward galloping on their horses. As soon as they came, she said, From the Surah Al-Kahf, she says, Go to the town, bring pure halal food for, for, for this person. They came, put food in front of me, and, I, and she said, Eat and drink for the good you have done in the past days from the Quran, she recited. I said, by Allah, by Allah, this food is haram on me until you tell me who this woman is. She again said from the Quran, We do not feed you except for the pleasure of Allah. We do not need any thanks or gratefulness from you. I again said, I'm not going to touch this food until you tell me who this woman is. The son said, ummuna. This is our mother. For 40 years, for 40 years, she has not spoken anything outside the Quran, fearing one word she might say, and the angels will write against her. Fearing one word she might say outside the Quran, and the angels will write against her. Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahmatullah says, it was my turn to speak from the Quran now. I said from the Quran, Surely Allah gives his grace to whomever he pleases. He is the owner of the mighty 